We are going to be doing a little get ready with me, but in the spirit of Valentine's Day, we need a little bit of wine to get us ready. I love that sound. Oops, I accidentally poured so much because I was listening, trying to get the sound for the camera. Okay, well. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, let's start with my hair right now. It's just in a braid. I'm gonna do my little blowout brush and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my blowout. So stay tuned. Okay, see how that looks? Like that nice little voluminous look. The key to a blowout is holding the tension when you pull it. I, this is just the Revlon blowout brush. I would invest in like a real blow dryer for doing blowouts, but that's a problem for another time. Right now, this is fine. It works just as good and it's gonna get the job done, okay? The blowout is complete. My hairstylist just slays the color every time. Like, I will not go to anyone but her. She just, she just slays every time. And she knows how to work with curly hair. Like, slay. Like. But let's get into the makeup because we only have about like an hour and a half. So, okay, let's just pray that I make it to this dinner. We're, we're going to be going to this place called RPM Italian. We've been there before once for his birthday. I'm low-key feeling a little... I need some water. I feel dehydrated. I am going to prime my eyes just with my concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Something in me was telling me not to have the wine because I'm really tired from work today. I had a really busy day. It was really stressful for me because I'm still on my orientation and I was in the room by myself and I was kind of scared because I'm like, um, what are we going to do about this? But it ended up working out. So I'm going to be using the Neutral Territory palette from Morphe. And I'm just gonna be using the browns. I think I'm gonna start off with these two right here and put that in the crease. Okay, you guys, I am back. I made a makeshift vanity because I could not do this any longer. I was dying. So, and I grabbed myself some water because I need to rehydrate or else I'm not gonna make it. My life has mainly been revolving around work. I go to work five days a week and that is something new for me. Like, I know that's crazy to say, but I've never actually worked full time. I've only worked part time jobs and in my last job, I was a CNA and I worked PRN and it was really nice because I can basically could control my own schedule. Honestly, I do like the OR. I feel like when I first started, it stressed me out so much. Like, I just hated it. Um, and it was just stressing me out. But now, since I've been there for almost four months, I definitely feel a lot better. But I still don't feel, like, very comfortable. But I'm trying my best to, you know, do everything that I can to make the most of it. So now I'm going to take probably these two shades here, the two darker ones, and put that on my lid. I think I'm just going to do this one here. But yeah, like I don't see myself really doing any other area of nursing. I had considered L&D, um, but then I ended up 
don't know. They wouldn't really take me as a new grad. I'm surprised I even got in the OR as a new grad. Like, that was a struggle because a lot of places told me no at first. Um, they were like, no, like, we don't take new grads. Um, but this one particular hospital did because they really needed people and they were willing to train. I feel like I, would, I wanted to do pediatrics, but um, I'm not trying to bash anybody, but my clinical instructors for peds, for peds were so rude. Like, if you got anything wrong, they got like really upset with you. Like, I feel like I would have done peds if it wasn't for them literally scaring the crap out of me every clinical like i remember this one clinical i was late literally by a minute by a minute they told us that we needed to be in the room at 601 i was there on time i just had gotten in the room late like by one minute because i was like filling up my water bottle or something like grabbing or i think it was like grabbing my clinical clipboard and i got in the room at 601 right as it turned 601 and they yelled at me they were like if you come late and this was my first time being late they were like if you come late another time they're like you will be dismissed like by one minute like especially in real life usually places don't care in real life i mean i'm not late to my current job i actually have never been late i've always been on time which is crazy for me because if anyone knows me in real life you guys know i am always late to everything like if I tell you a time, just add an hour to it because, um, but honestly, I did try to work on that for my job. Actually, you know what? I think I want to add a little bit of shimmer. I want to be spicy. So I'm going to take this shimmery brown here and add this to my lid because lately I've been loving shimmers. Okay, so I'm going to take the darkest brown here, probably this one, and I'm going to try to make a little bit of a wing really i'm gonna have to hold the lash down for my base i'm gonna combine two things i'm gonna be using the elf camo cc cream and my elf halo glow i'm gonna mix these two together i saw a tiktok that was talking about how this it was this girl and i saw how she was saying how the people who are like the most extra like who wear the most extra dresses or like just do the most extra things like for no apparent reason always manifest what they want and i realized i'm like that is so true like i feel like that's low-key me I really do the most extra things for no apparent reason at all and i feel like a lot of things i manifest like my job i manifest it you know so many things like with my channel i feel like i'm in the process of manifesting that right now and you actually um put effort in yourself and believe that you are a superstar whatever you want to call it like model actress whatever when you believe that you really are that person like when you believe in yourself everything else follows literally be delusional like i've seen other people say that like be delusional about yourself and about who you are because it may seem like a delusion but if you believe you already have it like you're gonna have it and I will list all of my shades and everything below. I don't really have time to do all of that right now, unfortunately. But I will leave it in the description for you guys. So if you guys want to get any of these products, you can definitely get them. So next, I'm going to take my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. This is how I do it. I just put it like this. Here, here, and here. And then I'm going to take my LA D Pro Conceal. This is in the shade white. And I just use this to give me a more airbrush look. I feel like the white really makes it, you know, it really does the trick. So, and then I just blend it in with my finger. Like this. And I feel like my eyes are so red. 
every time I get extensions, like for the first few days, they're just really red and irritated because I have really sensitive eyes. Also, I mean, it was kind of my fault. Like I fell asleep while she was doing my lashes and some of the glue, you know, the glue fumes went in my eye because I fell asleep. And you know, when you fall asleep, you like relax all your muscles. So kind of relaxed my eyelids and they opened a little bit. And yeah. Look how flawlessly that is blending. Okay, for my cream contour, I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Concealer. I was loving the Fenty um, cream contour stick, but lately I've been loving this. I did my makeup this way last week and it came out really good. And I'm just gonna put some down my nose. I usually do my cream contour on my nose really uneven. I'm gonna blend it out. my setting powder i'm going to be using the fenty beauty powder this is in the violet color i really like this powder because it goes with every skin tone i really like this to set under my under eyes because it really makes it gives a really airbrush finish and that is what i love when i do my makeup like it just comes out great, especially for pictures. You don't really have to be so precise with it. I mean, if I was had more time, I'd probably do it a little bit of a better job, but I'm in a rush. But I'm excited. I'm really excited for you guys to see my dress because I feel like it is just so extra for no reason. But I like to do little things where I get like a low creative vision for outfits. Okay, I'm gonna brush this off now. I'm going to line my waterline with my e.l.f. retractable pencil. And then for my cream blush, I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty blush. This is my favorite blush to use. Let me zoom you guys in. I feel like every time I zoom in though, it gets so dark. And I'm gonna blend it out with my e.l.f. stippling brush. And then I'm gonna go over it with this Wet n Wild blush. I'm gonna use this one first because this is the darkest color. And just put that on top of my cheeks like this. And I'm gonna go over that with my Milani Baked Blush. This has some shine to it, so it makes it look like you have highlight on when you don't. It's just the shine of this. And I like to put them on my nose, of course. I really like dramatic makeup looks. I like to be caked up most of the time. So if you don't like dramatic, then this might not be for you, but it is for me. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to use my ColourPop shadow. This is the Super Shock shadow. Like this. And along my brow bone. some on my nose just a little bit and right here and blend it out okay, i just use a clear brow gel this is the one from elf i absolutely love this one okay so this is the finished look I still have to add my lip gloss, but I'm gonna go put on my dress and show you guys my outfit. So I will be right back. Okay, so I accessorize a little bit with some jewelry and this is the finished look with the shoes. 
We'll post the final look on my Instagram. Look out for some pics. Because I'm definitely going to post. I feel so cute in this. I feel like such a baddie. But yeah. I don't have much time. So we're going to have to go. Or else we're going to be late to dinner. But yeah. This is the final product. I feel like it came out so cute. Okay. Bye. I'm going to go to dinner now.